Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new video of PowerPoint School. Today I will show you how you can create this type of stylish maps in PowerPoint. I will share my own method and I believe after watching this video you can create any map that you want. For your better understanding, I have divided this video in 4 different steps and I have tried to make it as simple as possible. So without wasting any further time, let's start out today's tutorial. <music> To create this type of map, our very first step is to download a map that we want to create. Simply search in Google and download from there. Then to add it in our slide, go to view option, click on master slide. And here in this blank slide, we will add the map picture that we have downloaded. So go to insert, click on picture. Here you can see I have already downloaded USA map. So I'm just inserting this picture. Make sure this picture is in the middle of our slide and then we can simply close this master slide view. We have added this picture in the master slide just because it may remain in the background but it's not clickable anymore. After adding the picture in the background our second step is to add some rounded corner rectangles. So let's pick a rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, increase the roundness by dragging this yellow dot from shape outline select no outline. To change its size from here I'll set the height 0.1 and width 0.4. Now to duplicate this rounded corner rectangle press ctrl D place it over here. Now keep pressing ctrl D for multiple times so that we have that much rounded corner rectangles. After that select all these rounded corner rectangles. Let's zoom in a bit. After that Press Ctrl D to duplicate all of them. Place it over here. Make sure it is perfectly aligned with the previous one. Now keep pressing Ctrl D until it cover our whole map picture that we have added in the background. You can see we have covered this map picture with these rounded corner rectangles. So now our job is to select and delete all the unnecessary shapes. By the word unnecessary, I mean those shapes that are not over the map picture. You need to be very careful when you are deleting these shapes. Make sure you delete only the shapes that are not over our map picture. It takes time to delete these unnecessary shapes. That's why to save your time, I'm doing it in fast forward. After deleting all the unnecessary shapes, now our job is to separate different states from this map. Here you need to target a particular state first. Then increase or decrease the size of these rectangles to get the exact map shape. To give it a better look, we will change the size of these rounded corner rectangles. It will simply add some variations and also it is necessary to bring the exact look of the map. When you are done with resizing these rounded corner rectangles from a particular state, holding the control button from your keyboard, select all these shapes one by one. Make sure you are only selecting these shapes that are on this map state. Then simply go to shape format from merge shape select union. Now to change its color from shape fill I'll pick this color. So that's the first state that we have created in the same way we need to create others. Here you can see I am doing the same. I have targeted this particular state first and resizing these rounded corner rectangles according to the map that we have added in the background. Then simply select all these shapes and from merge shape select union. From shape fill change its color. I believe you have got the main idea that how to create this map with these rectangles. You just need to target a state first then resize the rectangle according to the map picture. Then holding the control button from your keyboard select those shapes. From merge shape select union. From shape fill you can change their color also. After making all the changes you will have this look. To save your time I have skipped rest of the states. Now to remove the background picture go to the master slide and from here simply delete this picture and click on close master slide view. Here you can see our map is almost ready. Now we can move forward to our next step where we need to add some location pointers on each state. For that reason pick an oval shape holding ctrl shift from your keyboard drag it over here from shape fill Pick this white color. From shape outline select no outline. Then click on this small arrow which is the format shape option. From here 
I'll increase the transparency 26% then go to effects and from here I'll add a shadow preset which is offset center for this particular shadow effect I'll increase the transparency 80% and blur 8 point then holding the control button from your keyboard scroll your mouse to zoom in press ctrl D to make a duplicate for this new circle I'll set the transparency 13% then holding the control shift from your keyboard make it a bit smaller than the previous one holding the control button select this two from align we need to select align center again from align select align middle after that we need to pick a text box drag it over here add some text then selecting all these text you can change the font here I'm using Montserrat make it center change the font color I'll decrease the font size a bit then place this text box in the middle of the circle now what I'll do I'll select all these three objects and press ctrl G to group them together you can place this location pointer wherever you want now simply you can make some duplicate of this pointer and place them one by one on different states here to have some variation and also depending on the size of the state you can increase or decrease the size of this location pointer after adding all the location pointers your map will look something like this now we are ready for adding the animations and this is our last tape as we are going to use object color animation first we need to set a specific color for this map that is why I'm selecting all these shapes one by one and then to change their color go to shape format from shape fill I'll pick this color now we can start adding the animations first select this particular shape to add the animation go to animation click on animation pane from here we can look over animation status to add the first animation on this particular object from add animation I will select this object color then from effect option you can change the color of your animation set the animation time on click duration 0.25 second after that select this location pointer from add animation select zoom set the animation time start after previous and duration 0.25 second you can play the animation from here everything seems fine so let's select the second object to add the animation from add animation select object color from effect option you can set a different color set the animation time on click duration 0.25 second select this location pointer from add animation select zoom set the animation time start after previous duration 0.25 second you can see our animation process is very simple and straightforward in this way you can also add animations on other objects so that's the whole process and in this way you can create any map in powerpoint if the map is big it may take a few hours to create but as always you will get this template for free I'll provide the download link in the description of this video or you can visit our website powerpointschool.com for more templates like this and also we have a premium version of this map template where you'll get so many maps in different styles and layouts to purchase this map bundle you can visit our premium store theslideflix.com or I'll provide the product link in the description of this video if you have enjoyed our today's work Please give a like, share your thoughts in the comment section and if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon so that you never miss our videos. So that's all for today, I'll see you in the next one and thanks for watching.